Karen McFarland and I'm an analytics team lead here at Beyondsoft. There are several things that differentiate us. Uh, one of the things is that we practice collaborative consulting. And what that means is that we meet clients where they are in their data journey and we help them get to where they need to be so that they can have the success that they're looking for. We have a great team here at Beyondsoft. Uh, we've got folks who are data engineers, data scientists, folks who are great at visualization. Uh, and we're able to come together on each engagement and blend all those skills together to provide the most successful outcomes for our customers. And next, we're going to see my boss, Ted, uh, the director of data and analytics. And he's going to show us uh, how we're using data internally to drive customer success. This dashboard is used by our leadership team to understand how our teams are delivering work for across different projects. We have four KPI bars across the top. Blue indicates success. Closed on time is exceeding the target. That's great. Red indicates we've missed our target. For both high priority closed on time and average hours per week, we need to take a look at what we can do better in this. Yellow indicates we are right on the edge of hitting our target. Average days open, we're at six days. What can we do to push that a little bit farther and get to five days? On the far right, we have our Beyondsoft custom calendar visualization. This is available in the app source and demonstrates across the time view of these sprints how well we are achieving our respective goals. The middle row shows number of tickets by various priorities. We've broken that down from P0, our highest priority, all the way down to P4, the lowest priority. On the bottom row, we have three different analysis views broken out by tickets by individual contributor, tickets by project, and then finally tickets by priority. In this view, we can do a drill down. Right click on a particular item, choose drill through, and we can see a drill through for that particular project's tickets. Here on our second tab, we have our high priority view. This is a focused view of just our highest priority tickets, our priority zero and our priority one. Managers can view across the top our KPIs for how the work is progressing across these tickets. On the second row is a breakout of tickets by priority, by status, and then by type. The final row shows completed tickets by sprint, and this shows us the historical view of how we're burning down work. Unfortunately, I can see that our last two sprints have delivered less work, which means I need to do some follow-up, maybe talk to the team, find out what their blockers are on the right, and this is a breakdown of the individual tickets. We're showing the details for them so that we can go from here and follow up on the exact work items that are needing follow up. This is our completion look back view. Across the top, we have a view again of KPIs. We have a breakdown in the second row of tickets by team member, tickets by project, and then tickets by priority, allowing us to view an all up comparison of who has been contributing the most, as well as the view of what priority tickets we're completing. You know, are we focused on our highest priority tickets, or in this case, are we spending too much time on medium priority tickets that might be low hanging fruit, but aren't delivering the right value to our customers? This is how our team uses data from our time tracking system and our internal project tracking system to deliver value for our clients. Here at Beyondsoft, we are passionate about data. For more information, please contact us.